Hey everyone, today the weather is garbage, the lighting in here is crap, but we're going to look at As It Was by Harry Styles. Here's a brief little overview of what you'll be playing, starting with the intro. And then the chords that you'll be using is a nice four chord loop starting with D, B minor, E, and A. And that will hold you through the entire song. Let's have a little closer look at all the things that I was playing there. Starting with the intro, we're on the B string, and we're going to start at the 10th fret, and we're going to do a hammer to the 12th fret. To make your hammers really good, make sure you keep your first finger on and use a th your third finger for hitting the 12th fret. After that, you're going down to the bottom string, hitting the 9th fret. You can use your first finger for that. And then you're coming up again to the B string at the 12th fret and doing that four times. Back to the 10th fret with your first finger. Down to the bottom string again at the 12th fret though and then hitting the 9th fret. Altogether, that first part of the intro, we've got the 10 to 12 hammer, down to the bottom string for the 9, back up to the B string for a bunch of 12s, four of them, back to the 10th fret, down to the bottom string for the 12, and back to the 9th fret on that bottom string again. The second half of the intro is very, very similar, except instead of hitting the um, 12 and 9 at the end, we're going to hit a 12 and 10 on the B string. Let me show you. So we've got the 10 to 12 hammer again, down to the bottom string for the 9th, back up to the 12 on the B, and then to the 10th fret, same string 12th fret, same string 10th fret. Second half again, 10 to 12, 9th fret bottom, back up to the B, 2, 3, 4, 10th fret on the B, 12th fret on the B, 10th fret on the B. Okay, I'll do a nice slow play through, through both sections. First section. And the second half. Just like that. Then we're going to look at the chords that we're going to be using. We've got the D, the B minor, the E, and the A. Starting with D, we've got our first finger on the G string, E, A, D, G. Next finger on the bottom string. Both of those are going to be in fret two. Then your third finger goes in between them in the third fret. Nice and on your fingertips. Avoid the top two strings and you get D. Next is B minor. This one can be a bit of a tricky chord for some people. I like to start everyone out with a nice cut down version. First finger on the bottom string, fret two. Then on the B string, fret three. And then on the G string, fret four. So you have this nice little stairway leading up. This one, we're just gonna focus on playing the bottom strings. Try not to hit the top ones. Then we're going to go to the E chord, first finger on the G string, fret 1, next finger up on the A string, fret 2, and the next one down on the D string, fret 3. If you've tried this chord before um, without any guidance like that, you might be doing it kind of like that instead where your third finger's above and your middle finger's below. That's fine, it's not like, you know, no one's going to come to your house and tell you off for that, but it's uh, it's... A little unoptimal for your hand if your middle finger is on the top above the other one you've got better like arcing fingers and they're more out of the way of all the other strings and then the last chord is A first finger on the D string fret 2 then the G string fret 2 then the B string fret 2 as well just a nice straight line all of them squished into the same fret 
those are all the chords that you'll need in that. So uh, let's talk about the strum pattern that I was using there as well. What I, the way I think about strumming is I always use what the drums are doing as my reference. I'm always listening to the drums. And the drums in the song are going like a boom, 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 boom. And that's what I'm doing with my strumming. I'm going boom, 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 boom. So that's down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. Down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. Into B minor. Down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, into E. Down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, into A. Down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. Same pattern for the whole song. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's very, very easy to sit down and try and work your way through it and uh, there's nothing that will jump out and scare you. The chords are the same all the way through. Just every now and then they throw in that intro but you'll be able to hear that because it's the bit that does that. That's really all you have to think about in this song. Let's do, I'm just going to do a little playthrough now of the intro into the first verse into the chorus. <coughs> So we've got three, two, one, and. Holding me back, gravity's holding me back. I want you to hold out the palm of your hand. Why don't we leave it at that? Nothing to say when everything gets in the way. Seems you cannot be replaced, and I. I am the one who will stay oh, in this world. It's just us. The world's not the same as it was in this world. It's just us. Just like that. I hope that helps you with this. It's uh, it's a really fun song. So, if you like it, hit the like button. If you want, subscribe, and uh, I'll be sure to keep churning these videos out. Catch you guys later.